All right guys, well, I told you I was gonna do a video here on how to get root access on the new Nexus 7. Um, but what this is more precisely than even getting root access on this device is how to get root access on anything that has an unlocked bootloader um, on Android 4.3. Uh, what I found is getting root access on Android 4.3 requires a special zip file of SuperSU that has been edited to work. The old ones that used to work to get root access with an unlocked bootloader and custom recovery aren't working on 4.3, so Chainfire has come up with making a brand new one. Um, I don't you know, let's see something here. Does this have a file browser in it? So here we go, if we um, go into a file browser like ES File Browser, which is my favorite file browser, and uh, just show you guys what we're downloading here. It's going to be in downloads. If you download it, recommended just download it directly to your device. You can download it to your computer, um, but I would download directly to the device just to save you from transferring from the computer to your device. And it always downloads when you download it to the device, it downloads right here into downloads, and it's super su uh, dash, and it's got these numbers right here, and it's at the end it says one point. 410 or a point I should say at the end there um, but that's the file we're going to flash in custom recovery so if you've watched my last video you saw how to put uh, unlock the bootloader on the new Nexus 7 how to get a custom recovery installed like twerp recovery and then um, and then what we're going to do here is flash this root zip and it will give us root access on our device pretty simple um, so from here you're just going to uh, power off the device power off, hit OK, and however you get into your custom recovery, I mean I've also got things like uh, you know right here the original uh, Galaxy Nexus or the old Nexus 7, it really doesn't make uh, much difference here, you know, here's the old one with the new wallpaper on it, but the old one. Um, so different ways to get into custom recovery. You can use an app to just reboot to custom recovery, or reboot to custom recovery to, or reboot to recovery. It doesn't really make any difference. But on this, you can hold the volume down and power, and it should get you into this bootloader mode. And on this device, that's how you do it. And then you scroll with volume up and down, and we're going to scroll to recovery, and then hit power to select it. And that's pretty much, I think, the same with the Nexus 7 original. Um, that new Nexus 7 right here, and then I know I think some of the galaxies, I think it's the same kind of deal. Uh, it's volume down and power, I think. Or it might be volume up and down and power, I'm not really sure. Anyway, um, so we're in a custom recovery. All you gotta do, don't have to wipe anything, nothing. Just go to where you've got the zip, select it, slide across to flash it. That's it, it is done. So we're gonna go ahead and hit reboot system and we should have root access on this device if it and you see you have an unlocked bootloader that proves you have an unlocked bootloader that little unlock on the boot up logo right here if you do not have an unlocked bootloader you'll just see that google uh not the unlock symbol so you got the unlocked bootloader you got the custom recovery like i said that's in my last video this will give us root access so i'm just going to boot it up i'm going to show you guys uh super sue and uh, and we'll go to get root checker right here super user right there and say no thanks for right now and it looks like everything is good um, I would recommend at this point go ahead and going into the market and updating it super if I could type correctly super sue and there is a new update for it so you're gonna go ahead and do update continue and it'll just update the application for you and it is done then I'm going to show you how to make sure we have root access I'm just going to use this application you, I would download root checker app but this will just do the same thing for us here um, where do I want to go root explorer and see it came up with this pop-up that means that your device has got root access correctly and everything is working correctly I, I just like to always do my file explorer as read write um, so there you go. That's it. You had the pop-up. Everything looks good. You have Super Sue. You have root access on Android version, like I said, 4.3 on the new Nexus 7. Old Nexus 7, get uh, root access exactly the same way. Galaxy Nexus, any of the Nexus devices. If you have an unlocked bootloader and custom recovery, this is how you do it on 4.3. 
So there you go. Very simple. Unlock bootloader you had in the last video, custom recovery last video. This one, just simple root access. And that's it. You're good to go. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. And as always, follow me right up here at, or uh, check me out right here at rootjunkie.com. This is my website. I got lots of great stuff on there. And then you can check me out over there at uh, Facebook or Twitter. And we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.